Hey, it's me. I'm going to give you a little context here before we get started. Um, I read this story a long time ago, and I'm going back over it right now. Um, this is this is in the very early era of uh, of Moon Horse. Um, the kind of video that only gets uh, like one comment and barely any views. In the dark ages, before I had background music and a microphone that didn't suck, uh, back when I used to get hammered before reading everything, and, you know, I think it's time. I think it's time to redo this. I think this story needs to be immortalized in a better way. So, we're gonna do that. We are going to do that here, together, you and me. All of us here. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a long time since I read this story, but I am going to do my best to do it again. By Dark Doom Firemaster, this is Sonic High School. Chapter 1 Sonic woke up and looked at the clock. Seven o'clock, it said. And Sonic screamed. I am late for school! I have to get to school now! Said Sonic, jumping out of bed. Sonic put on his clothes really fast and ran out of his room because he is fast. No time for breakfast! Sonic said as he ran past Sonic's mom. You will regret this! <laughs> said Sonic's mom. <laughs> leering at him from the kitchen stove. Wearing aprons and oven mitts on her hands. Sonic did not care. He was late. Sonic ran outside and ran to the bus stop where people were getting on the bus. Tails, Knuckles, wait for me, said Sonic as he ran towards the bus. Hey, Knuckles, it's Sonic, said Tails to Knuckles at the bus stop. He is late, said Knuckles to Tails before getting on the bus. Sonic ran so fast to the bus, and he got on the bus after Tails. Just in time, said Sonic. Huffing and puffing like he was doing the Cupid Shuffle for the first time. <laughs> Sonic sat down next to Tails, and Knuckles sat behind them, taking up both seats. I'm so bad, said Knuckles, laughing because he sat where two people could sit. Knuckles did this every day, and no one bothered him, but they all knew it was against the rules of both man and God. <laughs> I forgot how weird this story is. The bus started and drove at the school and parked and they got out. We're at school now, said Tails. It's time to go to class. Sonic was also at school, so he went to his first class of the day. English class. Sonic did not like English very much. But he did not like any class very much that was not about running and going fast. Which is what Sonic does best. Sonic got to his class and sat down in his seat. It's journal day, said Sonic's English teacher, Mrs. Lesson. Mrs. Lesson was tall and white and had gray hair and she was not pretty. Take out your journals and put them in a pile and I'll read one of your entries to the class. Sonic took out his blue journal and ran to the front and quickly put his journal on her desk and then ran back to his desk, all with his head down and not talking or looking at anyone. Sonic was so fast that he did it first. Everyone else did it afterwards. And slower. Mrs. Lesson grabbed a journal from the pile, and Sonic knew it was his because it looked just like Sonic's journal. Sonic knew this because he had written in it so many times it was crazy. Mrs. Lesson opened a totally random page, and it was the worst page she could pick. She began to read. Dear Journal, I called the doctor today about a problem. I have a problem with my balls. <laughs> they are itchy and it's difficult to sit with them because they are so itchy. <laughs> Forgot about this story. I have to back up against stucco surfaces and rub up and down on them to get the relief for the itchiness. <laughs> no creams have worked. Creams only make my ball sweat sound like the breath of a thoroughbred. <laughs> And I think Amy, my girlfriend, noticed. I hope my doctor calls. Love, Sonic. <laughs> oh my 
god. Oh no, stop reading, said Sonic, but he reacted too late, because it was already read. All of it. Everyone in the class laughed, and Sonic felt like an idiot asshole, because now everyone knows about his ball problems. Sonic felt his rage build up inside of him like a pool of lava in a volcano. Stop laughing at me! Don't tell anyone! shouted Sonic, but everyone was laughing so loud they did not hear him, and Sonic was just so embarrassed and mad and sad, but more embarrassed, so he ran out of the class fast. Sonic ran to his locker, and he opened it and screamed into it. He screamed, This sucks! And curse words, too. What is the problem? Said Tails. Are you mad? Said Tails. Sonic was mad, so he nodded. You should tell everyone that it's okay to have problems with your balls, and they probably have problems that they don't want everyone to know about, so they should just stop laughing at, at me. I don't think they were laughing at you, Tails. Sonic thought Tails was right, because Tails was smart. Knuckles was there, too. So he said, Sonic, what's this I hear about you having problems with your penis and balls? <laughs> Comes a time in every young man's life where he has to talk about his penis and balls. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay. <laughs> Sonic was so mad again, so he punched Knuckles and ran away quick. Where Sonic ran to was his next class. It was now second period, so it was okay. And that class was history class. Sonic did not care about history class. Hey, Amy, said Sonic. Check me out. And Sonic did a dance move. Bakal, let's cast, said Amy. And Sonic and Amy kissed right there in the class, and some other people in the class watched. But the teacher wasn't there yet, so they did not get in trouble. And who's going to tell Sonic he can't kiss his girlfriend in class? That's vaguely threatening. Amy kissed Sonic so hard that he was thinking, Let's have sex! But he didn't say it, because the teacher would show up by the time they started to have sex in history class. Sonic kissed back really hard, and it was sexy to everyone. The teacher arrived, and they did class, but Sonic looked at Amy the whole time, who was sitting next to Rouge. Amy and Rouge talked, and looked at Sonic sometimes, and laughed, and Sonic thought Amy was telling her about how awesome Sonic kissed her, but it was not. Rouge was telling Amy about Sonic's gay ball problems. <laughs> And Amy was Sonic's girlfriend, but she thought it was the funniest thing ever. Class ended, and Sonic went to Amy quick and did not stop on the way. Hey, Amy, why'd you go tell Rouge about how hard we kiss? Smiley face. There, there's just a smiley face. Just it, Anyway, said Sonic with a smile on his face. That meant he did not care that Amy did this and really wanted her to because it made him look cooler. Actually, we're just telling me about the problems with your balls and penis and butthole that everyone found out about your English class. Wow, Sonic was surprised. He did not know what to say. End of chapter one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, like I said, I have not read this in quite a while. So I'm trying my best to just make these. I really wanted to do these with better, you know, sound and everything now. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, hey, end of video time. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, there's a bell somewhere. Sonic probably knows where it is. You can ask him. I have a Ko-Fi, which is full of incredibly stupid things, and gold. You can check those out, and it supports this channel. I also have a merch store, which does that too, except that you get like a t-shirt, or like a mask, a bath mat, anything. I don't know, I sell all kinds of shit. Just go check it out, it's pretty cool. I sell journals in there. Since this whole chapter was about journals, I probably should have read, you know, I probably should have led with that, but I didn't, because I'm kind of stupid. It happens. Anyway, I also have a subreddit, r slash moonhorse stories. You can send me your weird stories, or just any stories. You can send all kinds of stuff. Terrible fan fictions. Obviously, I like those. This is what I'm doing. Hi. Every Saturday, there's a live stream. You can come hang out with me, and I do weird shit like this. You know, this is my life. I don't know why it has become this, but it is. And I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with just how weird it is. Anyway, I hope you guys aren't having problems with your penises, your balls, and your buttholes, and I'll see you in the next episode. I love you all so very much. 
Goodbye, everybody.